ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to day 17, y'all. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new to the channel, welcome, praise God. We are here consecrating to the Lord, doing what God is calling us to do in this time, praise God. And I'm just so grateful that the Lord is calling us to consecrate unto him, praise God. And as we move in the spirit of the Lord, I pray that you are strengthened. I pray that you have every single resource that you need. I pray, hallelujah, if you don't, praise God, that you're crying out to the Lord because you know who to go to, praise God, to release upon you in Jesus my name. I pray that you are standing in the word of the Lord, that you are commanding your day, praise God, hallelujah, that you're consecrated to the Lord in prayer, meditating on the word, hallelujah, and seeking the Lord to see what he's saying to you in this time according to his will, praise God, because God is good and he has not left not one of us behind in Jesus my name. We're going to Luke chapter 19, and we're going to go ahead and read verses 47 and 48, because the title of this message today is Hang up, Hanging Upon His Words, praise God. And we're talking about the words of Jesus Christ, praise God. Hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and dive in. Verse 47, and he was teaching daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the leading men among the people were trying to destroy him. And they could not find anything that they might do for all the people were hanging upon his words. Praise God. The title of this is hanging upon his word. The Lord is calling for each of us to hang upon his word. Hallelujah. As we consecrate today, as we draw near to him in the mighty name of Jesus, praying. And I'm telling you right now, I saw the word interceding. Some of you will be interceding for others today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All glory to God. Hallelujah. As you are doing this and you are moving into things of God and you are spending time with him, listening to what he has to say, praise God, hang upon his word, hang upon his every word, praise God. Whatever it is that the Lord is speaking in this time, hallelujah, hang on it. If he's telling you to do something, praise God, do it in obedience, hallelujah, and hang on it. If he told you, praise God, that something was going to come to pass and you haven't seen it yet, hang on it, hallelujah, because today we're hanging on his words, praise God. Whether it's today, tomorrow, forevermore, praise God, we're going to continue to hang on the Lord's word, hallelujah, because we know his word does not fall to the ground. We know his word, hallelujah, is not like a feather, just light and just, you know, whatever, praise God. God. Hallelujah. His word, hallelujah, it sets out and it accomplishes things. Praise God. His words are alive. Hallelujah. His words strike. His words move. Praise God. Hallelujah. They are living. Praise God. So when you call upon the Lord to bring forth his word, hallelujah, because you are bringing it back into remembrance. Praise God. You're asking for those words to get in action. You're asking for those words to come through for you. Praise God. And the Lord is so good. Hallelujah. Because he's going to come through for you. If he said it is done. Praise God. Understand if he said it is done. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful for the Lord that he is pouring out upon us in this time. Hallelujah. He said to hang on to every word, y'all. Praise God. Whatever he's telling you today, hang on to it. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good. We have been moving along in this fast, consecrating, eating clean. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, staying away from the shrimp, staying away from the lobster, the crab. Praise God. We're staying away from it in the mighty name of Jesus during this fast. And you are fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can eat clean during that time. Praise God. And drink your water, y'all. Stay away from the Coke. Stay away from the tea. Stay away from the lemonade. Stay away from the Kool-Aid if you're in the Kool-Aid. Stay away, hallelujah, from the juices. Stay away, praise God, hallelujah, from the fruit drinks. Just stay away, y'all in the mighty name of Jesus and drink water in that time. Hallelujah. Because water does your body good. Water replenishes, praise God. Water hydrates. Hallelujah. And so we need that water, praise God, in our bodies. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, water will bring forth good skin, praise God. Hallelujah. I know some people may have trouble with their skin. Hallelujah. Even when they drink water. And that's when, you know, you have to go forth and see uh, seek medical attention like a dermatologist who would give you uh, the guidance as to how to to go about uh, remedy, remedying that, praise God. But we're talking about, hallelujah, for those of you who know that water will uh, bring forth 
uh, clear skin for you, praise God, and that it will help to uh, bring moisture, hallelujah, back into your body to, to the point where your scalp, praise God, hallelujah, is not all dry, hallelujah, your legs, praise God, they're not all dry, hallelujah, because you are saturating your body with water. Now, don't overdo it because I did see an article, praise God, hallelujah, I did see an article where a woman died because she drunk too much water. Now, I didn't know that you could oversaturate with water, praise God, but my mama always said, praise God, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Too much of anything ain't good for nobody. Praise God. Hallelujah. So what does that mean? Praise God. That you can drink too much water and that ain't no good. Hallelujah. So I learned that in the news, praise God, that somebody actually died over water. And I'm pretty sure she's not the uh, from drinking water, consuming it. And I'm pretty sure she's not the first one, praise God. So just be mindful about that as you are consuming water. Hallelujah. We don't want to overdo it either in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for this word in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for pushing us forth, oh Lord God. We thank you, hallelujah, for the heavenly signal that you're that you're pouring out, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. The alertness, oh Lord God. I pray right now that every single person who's doing this fast, oh Lord God, that they will consecrate even more unto you, oh Father God. That they will find themselves even after the fast, just seeking you, oh Lord God. Wanting to be in your presence. Wanting to know more, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Growing their relationship with you, oh Father God. Hallelujah. Because they love being in your presence in Jesus my name. I just pray for them, Lord God. Hallelujah. Cover them, keep them, protect them. Oh Lord God, show them favor today. Oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, be, uh, uh, pour upon your blessings upon the people. Oh Father God, in Jesus mighty name. As we go forth, Lord God, we have our mind on you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's keep our mind on Jesus today. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that you're blessed by this word. I pray that you hang on to every single word that the Lord has given and every single word in this Bible that you are reading. Praise God. That you're meditating on today. Hallelujah. Because we're submitting to God. Hallelujah. And a part of submission is believing him. <laughs> Praise God. That's why we hang on to the word because we believe what he says. Praise God. So let's continue to believe what the Lord is telling us today in Jesus name. All right, y'all. Love you with the love of Christ. I will see you at 6 p.m. today. Praise God. We're communion. It's day 17. Let's get it. Bye.